be your mentor for this introduction to lipid analysis course, a free online course through Save Cultural Heritage Group. Um, this video is to just give you a brief introduction to myself as well as the course, what we'll be learning throughout the duration of the class. So I'll give you a bit of my background. I have my master's from University College London uh, in paleoanthropology and paleolithic archaeology. While at University College London, I focused my research on lithic analysis, specifically on the bladelets and backed bladelets for the Magdalenian site of Buendia, Spain, performing a morphological, technological, and traceological analysis on the aforementioned stone artifacts. Uh, while this might just seem like a bunch of jargon right now, by the end of the course, you should have an understanding of what all of that means. Um, I also have my uh, bachelor's degree in anthropology from University of California, Los Angeles. While there, I performed a series of projects, including uh, various ceramic and funnel analysis. I currently work as the assistant collections manager at the Lancaster Museum of Art and History, where I serve as the archaeological specialist. Uh, various aspects of my job here include curating and cataloging the archaeological collections, as well as performing lithic analysis on the stone tools that we have in the collection. In this course, we will be focusing on introductions to lithic analysis. So we will be learning about stone tools and how to identify stone tools from ordinary rock, uh, what features to look out for, how to assess and interpret the varying morphologies and characteristics of these stone tools, and uh, how to interpret these stone tools in a wider archaeological context. And to do so, we will be learning not only about stone tools themselves, but also some of the contexts in which they're found, focusing primarily on the Paleolithic of Africa and Eurasia. Um, and in terms of this, we will be discussing the Lower Paleolithic, uh, the Middle Paleolithic, and the Upper Paleolithic technologies, including Oldowan, Acheulean, Mousterian, uh, or Ignatian, Magdalenian, and a few others, but these are the primary ones. And in regards to uh, the different morphological, technological aspects of stone tools and stone tool production, we will be learning about how the varying morphologies and characteristics of stone tools in these different industries reflect uh, human evolution and cognitive development through time. So we'll be delving into a lot of information, but we'll be taking it slow at first, giving you a first a little introduction into what stone tools are, the history of the development of lithic analysis research, um, and then we'll be starting to uh, interpret stone tools themselves, varying different tool types, uh, their functions, and how they sit within wider archaeological contexts such as site diversity patterning and uh, stone tool production and so on and so forth. So I look forward to instructing this course and helping you along and I am very excited to share my love for lithics with you.